welcome. Here, we explore the things that go bump in the night. Whether that's ghosts, aliens, serial killers, or just a boogeyman hiding underneath your bed. And we do all of this in the attempt to answer one question. Should we be afraid? I tried to strangle it with a cord, a ripped cord from a video game console controller. That didn't work. She was sitting on the couch watching TV. Okay. That didn't work out too well. She started screaming, and so I went to her room, opened a drawer at the very bottom to the right. I pulled out a hammer. I went back in the living room, and well, you kind of get the gist from there. And uh, she was out pretty quickly. So when, when you dragged her to the, the living room, I mean to the bedroom, you kept on hitting her there? Yeah, kind of. When that's, where the, uh, that's when you reached in and grabbed her brain? Yeah, I kicked out of the bed. Then I just, uh, that was kind of silly, but then yeah, I just decided to reach in and kind of just do it. Mm -hmm. so. And then what did you do after that? Then I had sex with her corpse, actually. Yeah, just the first time? Oh yeah, I lost my virginity to a corpse. Um, you had the handcuffs from the duct tape. Yeah, so what I was going to do is I was going to, uh, you know, like I said, yank him in there, strain him, and then, you know, the uh, after the sex, it would turn kind of violent. I'd start to kind of... The, the, the uh, torture was kind of a late addition, because at first I wanted the body to be pretty much unharmed, because uh, what I was going to do after that then was, while they were still alive and gagged, I was going to... Uh, drape them over the bathtub and cut off their head and uh, then hang them there and let the body all drain out good and drained out and I was going to keep the body around for a couple of days I was going to set the head on my desk so it could like watch me mm -hmm. and you know keep the corpse in my bed sleeping with it having sex with it for a day or two and then I was going to start butchering them and cooking them and uh hacksaw to cut open the head to get to the brain because I wanted to eat the brain and the heart and some of the organs. I just kind of struggled with myself the whole time she was in there. And uh, Was the struggle between right and wrong? Yeah, uh, well, or kind of, yeah, both that and, you know, not wanting to get caught. But I was also occasionally stepping outside, you know, helping them look for the girl. And then, you know, like I said, I was stepping out there occasionally acting, you know, uh, like I was keeping a watch for her in case she came back well dad was gone and talking to the manager and all that and stuff and you know oh I hope they find her soon it's horrible you know it's uh, why did you make the suggestion to Jamie to go inside the school today um I was planning to murder him I got him into the stall by saying look I have something to show you so I got him into the stall and I told him to turn around because I wanted to be a surprise I, t I was talking to him and I told him, all right, now, I'm not, now, I have to put my hand over your mouth. Okay. And so I did, and I lifted his neck up. I took the knife out, and I proceeded to slit his throat. Did Jamie say or do anything? Did he put up a struggle? Yes, he did. He turned around after I did that, and he asked me not to kill him. So I told him, okay, I'm not going to if you cooperate. Okay. Which was a lie. Right. And so I realized that the stall door was open, so I locked it. Yes. And then I turned him around again and proceeded to stab him. Do you think what you did is right or wrong? No, I don't. Well, what don't you think? I think it is neither right, but I don't think it was wrong. Do you know what you did is wrong? Yes, I do.
America. The first time I did a shot of dope, it was the best feeling I ever had in my life. And the first time I killed somebody, and it was such a rush. And it was just like that shot of dope. Every time I did it, it was that rush again. And I started chasing that high. How many people have you killed? Lord, I don't know. I, I don't know. 10? Yeah. 20? Probably. 30? It's up there. 50? Well, see, I'm not Billy the Kid making notches on, on my, my holster. And I like to watch the eyes fade, the pupil fade. What do you like about that? It, it's just like setting their soul free. What are you thinking and feeling when you kill someone? It's just like that drug. I'm after that drug again. I, I don't have an on and off switch. I'm just after that drug. I wonder if you could just tell me what happened as you were killing her. Did she, did she give birth to a baby? You know, you're pushing your love. I'm sorry. Let's, let's, not get, let's not get into blood and guts because, because that's what you're trying to get into. Let me thank you all for watching firstly. And if you did enjoy this, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. And if you do have any stories, feel free to share them in the comment section below. Until next time, what do you think? Should we be afraid?